Guess what, everybody? It's Christmas Eve. Yes, Merry we Christmas made it. Eve. Welcome to Great Day Washington. I'm Kristen Bursett Harris here with Ellen Bryan. Mm -hmm. In case you weren't sure, mm -hmm. You'll I'll remind you. Yes. And Howard Bernstein <laughs> sporting a pretty cool tie. Yeah, uh -huh. Ellen DeGeneres copied you, didn't she? Yes, I made this first, and I did not buy <laughs> right. it from her line mm -hmm. and just wear it as my own. <laughs> Very convenient. You yeah, it's, it's worked name. really well. At parties, I've gone to a couple parties in this, and everyone remember, right. you don't have to wear the little sticky name tag right. anymore. I'm waiting for the Howie Mandel collection oh, to come out, and then good, I'll have something good, to wear good. with my name on it. Next season, next yeah, season. perhaps. Hey, did you guys go shopping on Saturday? Last minute shopping? Mm, I tried. It was bad I... enough just going into like Wegmans the other day. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. been terrible. Well, get this, uh, Super Saturday, which is the Saturday before Christmas, skyrocketed past Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, reaching the single, the single day sales reached 34.4 billion dollars. <laughs> It is the biggest single retail day in U.S. history, according to Customer Growth Partners. Now, just in case you don't remember how much was spent on Black Friday, that was $31.2 billion. Cyber Monday was $19.1 billion. You know, there was less time, though, between Thanksgiving yeah. and Christmas, Very so all true. that shopping's going to be right like, crammed into the shorter period. That is very wise. I was mm -hmm. to say, it just means all of us are procrastinators. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah. I even went out last night and uh, yeah. to, to an appointment in a parking lot that had like a Ross and those kind of stores and that was packed at yeah. like five o'clock. I went so to Montgomery Mall yesterday to pick something up. I parked, first spot I saw, I didn't waste any time. I sort of knew where it was that I picked up something. I ordered online at Macy's, went in, went out. It's like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good for you. Oh, yeah, it was very strategically planned, though. I was thinking about this the whole drive up. Where am I going to park? Right. How am I going to do this? Right. Uh, to be as painless as possible. Right. It's the anxiety is on the way. Where yeah. is there going to be a parking spot? Is there going to be yeah. a parking spot? Crowds, those lines. Extra steps in. But there's yeah. still, I mean, there's still time tonight if you have to get yeah. those extra right. gifts. And while everyone, of course, focused on Christmas, Jennifer Lopez has her eyes on February. She's getting ready for her big Super Bowl halftime gig. Her fiance, Alex Rodriguez, offered a glimpse of JLo's rehearsals on Instagram. She's 50, isn't she? Yes, uh -huh. 50. she's 50. Putting on the show together, of course, with Shakira. Nothing for wrong with being 50 plus. Hey, <laughs> looking good, looking good. She's an inspiration. She recently told Variety they're excited to be standing on the stage, J-Lo and Shakira, as two Latin women to celebrate the beauty and value of their culture. And J-Lo hopes the performance will be a unifying moment. Super Bowl 54 kicks off February 2nd in Miami. And I just she saw her in Hustlers, it. by the way. How you know, was that? Right. It was a really good movie. I mean, it's a very good story. Uh, it gets the rating it gets because of, you know, it takes place in a, in right. a, a stripper <laughs> bar. <laughs> right. In a stripper well, bar. And so, oh, Howard. For something yes. for yeah, I think she's been nominated. Do you think she'll win the Oscar too. for it? I don't know, but she really was very good. She's good. She's very had an incredible good. year. Yeah. Yeah. She was on the cover of People and just between her shows and this and uh, and now the Super Bowl coming up. She's had an incredible yeah. year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's making 50 look real good. Mm -hmm. There is another big holiday movie that is highly anticipated. That's Little Women. It is a remake about the four March sisters. It's out nationally tomorrow, and our friends at Entertainment Tonight, they have the first look. Saoirse Ronan, Emma Watson, and Timothy Chalamet star in Little Women, the story of the strong-willed March sisters determined to find their place in life in theaters today. I'm working on a novel. It is a story of my life and my sisters. Make it short and spicy. And if the main character is a girl, make sure she's married by the end. Ow, Joe! Little Women is an adaptation of the coming-of-age novel set after the Civil War. Having this wonderful ensemble of characters that are so well written means that um, you can sort of find yourself in them. Meryl Streep plays Aunt March, who seems intent on keeping the sisters in their traditional roles. No, no one makes their own way. Not really. Least of all a woman, you'll need to marry well. But you are not married, Aunt March. Well, that's because I'm rich. I think it's a book and hopefully a film about identity. And there's nothing more modern than that. This question of who am I, despite everyone else's opinion. Sersha and Timothy starred in Lady Bird together, which helped them feel comfortable with each other in this film. We've worked together before, which I think just really helped for us to settle straight into that, you know, brother-sisterly relationship that, um, that Joe and Laurie need to have. And I'm able to hit him whenever I want because I know him. Um, I'd probably do it anyway, but... Um, but, but yeah, there's there's a, a, a level of um, of security, I think, that you can get from just working with, with the same actor more than once. Women, they have minds. 
and they have souls as well as just hearts and they've got ambition and they've got talent as well as just beauty and I'm so sick of people saying that that love is just all a woman is fit for I'm so sick of it for entertainment tonight I'm Michelle Turner so if you haven't done your Christmas shopping yet, we have some last minute gifts. If you have fans of Little Women in your life, uh, a 2020 calendar that Kristen is modeling. There's also a movie edition novel and a movie companion book yeah. as well. So we have those out Got on these our up front. Uh, table so as well. Some, some good gifts for those that are a fan or maybe ha like me haven't read the story. <laughs> you think Kristen, this will appeal? You can go. <laughs> I asked ask them during the story, is this what a chick flick? You think this will appeal across the, uh, the, the, uh, the genders? I think it's definitely going to play to a female audience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, I guess we'll have to watch it, right? Let us know, Howard, yeah. if you go. But yeah, new movies it. out. Lots of lots of good fun time to have for Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we also have some big news out of Buckingham Palace. Prince Philip, he is out of the hospital. Thank goodness, just yeah. in time for Christmas after being treated for a pre-existing condition. The 98-year-old, 98, he is expected to spend Christmas with the rest of the royal family, except, as we've been talking about for a while, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They will be celebrating in Canada Love with this. Meghan Markle's mother, but they just oh released this adorable Christmas card. Look at Archie. What? How adorable. That's cute. Don't you want, you would just want to go I don't even know if Archie's. they need the Duke and Duchess in that picture. No, just, just Archie. Archie. Exactly. That's all you need is Archie. What, what is it about yeah. babies though? You're like, oh my God, I just want to grab. Okay. Yeah, it's cute. I got it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Merry Christmas to them and safe yeah. travels, of course. Right. Well, a little Archie. Mm -hmm. Well, back stateside and right here in D.C., the Washington Capitals, well, yeah, they want to wish you a happy holiday season. Yesterday, the team released their 2019 holiday card. Mm. Take a look. Make my wish come true. <laughs> oh that's my Alex gosh. Ovechkin, Brady Holpe, Tom Wilson. Uh, I think that's uh, a Varley right over there. Or, um, yeah, and captain, teammates and captain. and captain, of course, and he was here last week. Yeah. Yeah, I had a pleasure to uh, meet captain last week. They're performing their classroom instrument <laughs> rendition of All I Want for Christmas is You. Oh. So glad they're good at hockey. And oh of course, right in the middle of it is the cap service dog in training, as you said. Uh, Captain, they do this every year. Oh, yeah. They have a year. lot of personality, uh -huh. isn't it? They, they, they did the you. calendar with the dogs yeah. and they were like posing. Yeah. I love it. Yes, and there's something about watching bad singing hockey players that everybody's really enjoying. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love Captain looks so impressed yes. by their singing. Yeah. But no, they at least they can laugh at themselves. That's what the whole thing is, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. You have and fun, laugh at yourself. Have a, have, it's, it's a nice time of year and they're just getting into the spirit yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, one, uh, one other thing I want to tell you guys about. Mo this morning we've been tracking Santa Claus. Well, really, oh. the North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD, is tracking Santa. So we wanted to look into the history and tradition huh. of NORAD. Uh, NORAD is an American and Canadian national organization that's based in Colorado and normally its mission is to protect the skies over North America and send any needed warnings. But on Christmas Eve, its mission shifts gears to tracking Santa Claus. Huh. What usually happens is we'll pick him up on uh, radar along the, uh, the northern, uh, northern part of Canada and Alaska. His course that he takes is different every year. It depends on the weather a little bit. It depends on kids being asleep as well. You know, NORAD didn't always keep tabs on Santa's route. Uh, this 64-year-old tradition happened by accident, actually. Huh. After a misprint in the newspaper, someone accidentally called NORAD, thinking they were calling Santa. And NORAD decided, you know, we're going to play along, and they started tracking Santa. And if you want to track Santa tonight, actually, you can start right now. Uh, log right. into NORADSanta.org, and, you know, I know there are little ones all over. You can That's show awesome. them the progress that Santa's right. making as he, you know, he's already delivering presents in the, uh, to our east where it's already nighttime and stuff. And yeah, did someone say it was in North Korea or something just a little bit ago? Around that area. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Al it's already yeah. Christmas Day on the other side of the right. world. Right. So it gives you a better idea, like, look, kids, time to go to sleep, put out those milk and cookies, yeah. and yeah. then Santa will Do you leave That's anything so out cool. for Santa? Um, yeah, sure. No, I've been a naughty girl. I haven't put anything out lately. <laughs> Do you, Howard? No, no, Santa doesn't visit. Santa doesn't visit. <laughs> we need yeah, young kids Santa in our online lives again. Today. Yes, yes, yes. We have We've it in our hearts. houses that we put together, so maybe he can pick off a yeah. piece of those yeah. and enjoy it. Yeah, my niece is two this year, so I'm excited. She's excited Aww. for Santa. Well, that'll be so fun. So that will be fun. Yep. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back just after this.